All right, guys, welcome back to game number two for this smaller World Vision Gimme Shelter mm. sponsored event. Small but powerful. Small but powerful. Already, already raised a lot of money. If I take a look over here, we've already raised eleven hundred thirty dollars. Yeah. We're going on the second game. Yeah. It's really hot down here too. I'm going to turn down the heat shortly. That's okay. I have zero fat on my body, and I'm wearing forty-seven layers, so I'm good. <laughs> well, I'm hot. <laughs> I'm like impossible to keep like I I used to have like next to no meat on my hands. Now I actually have no meat on my hands. So when I was pumping that gas, let me tell you. We have a very special one today. This one is coming from Taran858, who is a five hundred dollar donator from back in November on that um event that we did. Yes. And now we are doing his game. Yes. He wants me to jump into a two v two. This is a Nova War says yep. called the greatest carrier. And I basically can only build carriers to attack. I think I, the idea here was, because he originally wanted us to play together, excuse me, together, which we couldn't do, uh, was that you were going to carry me, is the is the joke here. Gotcha. The greatest carrier. Oh, I see. Uh, see? I see what uh, you did there. I see. I can't play, yeah. but I got the joke. So, since we can't, he said if we can't play at the same at the same time, which we just don't have the setup for it, that I can jump jump into a 2v2 and have a random partner and still do the same build. So that's what we are going to be doing Absolutely. here. Absolutely. Carrier has arrived. I remember when we were younger and we would be outside, whatever, playing track down or whatever, and then at some point we were kind of getting bored and, and Jeff sometimes, occasionally, wouldn't want to go in and play StarCraft. Everyone else was ready to go play StarCraft. Mm. Jeff, just for whatever reason at the time, and all I would have to say in the shittiest voice ever was Carrier has arrived, mm. and that was all it took. Mm. All right, you got me. You got me. I'm going. I, 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 I I'm going in inside. the house. <laughs> that was it. Um, okay, so this event here, no, it's not for one specific child. I actually do sponsor a child. His name's Deepak. Deepak! Uh, I just got a big Christmas package from him. Oh, of course, it's Christmas time. Uh, which was really, really cool. And for the first time ever, I'm planning to actually write and uh, send something to Deepak. Mm. I'm going to reach out to World Vision. He's starting to get a little older now. And what I would like to do in the next year or two is actually go to India uh -huh. and meet Deepak. I'd love to go and meet him, meet his family. Bring some cool stuff from Canada. Buy an interpreter for when nobody understands anyone else. There you go. And uh, but yeah, I've been sponsoring Deepak now for uh, close to five years. It's been a while. See, he's I think he's 14 years old, almost going on to 15. In yeah. actually, his birthday is on my birthday, January 22nd. So uh, yeah, I've been sponsoring him since he was nine, I do believe. So it's been a long, long time. And, uh, yeah. The ladies are coming, Deepak. But this one in particular, this event isn't for one specific child. Your money is going to go towards helping different children throughout, you know, third world countries, uh, war stricken areas, uh, places that just need the money now, that need help right now. And, uh, it's going to be going towards clean water, shelter, food, education. Um, some of the money does go towards, uh, a world vision aid as well so you know people that are on the ground putting themselves in harm's way you know dealing with uh you know emotional things and things like that that they're going through so all the money is just going to a great cause and you guys already know the deal we've been we've been plugging world vision now for for two months so i'm we not need, gonna we need to get a soundboard and just we press really the, do just, just press the just press the button. Press the button. And have it spew all of the stuff that we already say every single time. You know what, though? When when you're doing stuff for charity, I don't feel bad plugging things. No, of course like, not. Like, you know no. what? You know what? If you don't like Plug the ad, endlessly. stick it. Yep. I don't care. It's yep. going to kids, and if I can spread the word to save a life out there, Absolutely. and uh, then I'm going to go ahead and, and do my part as a, as a person of influence. I'm so. going to do my part uh, as a person of influence and save a life and say, don't watch the Power Rangers movie. <laughs> <laughs> not very good. Uh, watched that the other day. It's not very good. And I wish I hadn't watched it the other day. You know what? I'll be honest with you. I didn't mind it all the way until the last act when they started doing Power Ranger things. And I was like, I'm not feeling this at all. The what? music was low. It didn't get me hyped. I felt like I was watching. What the heck is this? Who are you chessing, bro? This guy is cannon rushing me. Who what? are you chessing, bro? Right, dude. I checked out in the first uh, 45 seconds of the movie, you know why? Because the first lines of dialogue in the Power Rangers movie is a penis joke based on a cow. Hmm. That's it. There's no other dialogue. There it goes go. straight into a, to a penis joke with a cow. 
That's it. That is how they opened up the the Power Rangers movie. Mm -hmm. Was with that. Uh, you know what, dude? I I didn't mind it until the last act. I just I like the characters. I like because I like movies like superhero movies where they're where they're discovering their powers for the first time, right? And they're I, like, oh my god, I can jump a cliff. I do too, but I feel like I feel like uh, three quarters of the movie was them discovering their powers, and then it the was. last five minutes was, uh, was was whatever. My favorite part though was when they run out of money in the budget, and so the Megazord happened underground in the pit because they didn't want to actually animate the whole thing coming together. Dude, it's uh. I saw that. I was like, you're not seriously about to do that, are you? I mean, it's safe to say <laughs> that we are never going to get another Power Rangers movie not again for a long time. Dude, that movie flopped. That movie flopped. I'm not shocked yeah, that it did. It flopped. It did not make it. did not oh, do well in bad. North America. It did not do well at all. Uh, it was so bad. There were like little moments there that were like, okay. Oh, I'm both carriers. What am I doing? Yeah. Sorry, I just. Uh, see, when you talk about Power Rangers, it's so bad. It distracts you. Uh, I gotta. Oh, well, I can use that for defense. Yeah, you purposes. can defend it. You can defend with it. That's fine. But yeah, it was it was absolutely terrible. Um, so that was, that was bad. Uh, and then I watched. Uh, what was it after that? Um, oh, something else that I hadn't seen yet. Well, I watched Wonder Woman last night. Oh, did you like it? Yeah, that was good. Oh, I really liked. Wonder I thought Woman. they did. I thought they did just about as good of a job for an origin movie that uh, they could have with that, mm -hmm. uh, for sure. And um, yeah, great, great job. I think the I think the biggest the biggest thing they did was not over sexualize Wonder Woman. Yeah, I like that. Um, which you know, if I was a proud dad of a little girl, yeah, I would you know I, I would feel really good about letting her watch Wonder Woman. Absolutely, because it empowers women. Yeah, it doesn't. Uh, Dude, the action scenes in that them. was done were oh, done so so, good. so, so good. well. There's a, oh, there's a hundred bucks. A hundred dollars. There's a hundred bucks for the kids right there. Melon Lord. Yes. Said, keep it up, Jeff and Nova War. Put this money for the kids out there. Boss. Thank Let's you go. so much, man. Merry Christmas. Thank you, guys. We appreciate yeah. it. The kids are going to appreciate it a whole lot more than we will, which is pretty awesome. I'll take that hundred dollars and I'll make my own Power Rangers movie. Bigger budget. <laughs> yeah. I liked how at the end, the only two rangers that they could convince to come back for like a .5 second cameo were the green and pink ranger. Yep. <laughs> just see, just see Tommy and Kimber Kimberly there with like little like cheap Kodak cameras or whatever in the crowd like taking pictures. And that was the entire thing. It's Dang. no, uh, it's no wonder the green ranger guy came out and said he wanted his own movie. After watching that atrocity, he probably like thought, I could do better. this is my chance. <laughs> Give me the reins, I can do it. Here's the thing, I just don't think people really care about no. Power Rangers. That's no. that's just the reality of it. I think I think the TV show would need to be bigger than it is right now for it to you know yeah. necessitate a, a, a revival. I think it's totally a thing. I think Power Rangers, kind of like Pokemon, comes and goes in waves. Yep. Like la the last year for uh, the 20th anniversary of Pokemon, they went full ham. Absolutely yeah. And then Pikachu ham. talked, and everyone was like, yep. "No, I'm out." Yep. The that's train, the train it's, died. It's done immediately. You're dead to me. So that was unfortunate. I'm still shocked that they actually did that. Like I could, uh, like when it, when it happened, I saw it in theaters because I went with Gabs. She wanted to see it in theaters, and I heard I heard it, and I just I died a bit on the inside. Yeah, you. A part of my soul left you my body. You and the world actually. Just I haven't watched body. Pokemon or cared about Pokemon in a long time, and when I saw it, I actually died. Yep. Yep. So because they did a pretty good job of the rest of the movie in general, they made a lot of callbacks to like the the original series and stuff. So that was kind of fun. And then that happened, and then I forgot all the good stuff that happened in the movie. <laughs> Just no, went away. No, it's gone. And it's gone. Yeah. Thank you, uh, Green Bag. Welcome, dude. Um, so, yeah, if you guys are just tuning in, we're doing another Nova War Says. This one is for Taran858. We're in a 2v2 right now. Fortunately, our red opponent, Cannon Rush, which slows them down immensely. We've got a Terran here that is building up siege tanks. He's going to take care of that. I'm going to go ahead and drop down my third. I'm going to try and build as many carriers as possible. It is tough, tough, tough to build them up. I'm getting the upgrade for more interceptors, getting shields, upgrading now my weapons. Going to chuck down one more core. There's some more oh money. Oh, my goodness. There's another 100 bucks. Hey, guess who it is? Wall Street. He said, please, everyone, meet Deepak. Second row, grade seven. He really needs some shelter. Um, I'll show you guys picture of Deepak, actually. I have it on my computer. So mm. after this game, I'll show you guys what's up. Is it an updated picture? 
Um, or is it like his old school? No, I think this picture's from last year, but I do have a picture in here that I can put oh, up nice. to the webcam that's nice. pretty much brand new. Excellent. So I can show you guys. But yeah, I've been, uh, I actually started sponsoring DPAC uh, when I first got my, U or my Twitch.tv partnership. Yeah. And I was taking out some of the money uh, to sponsor a child. And, and actually, it was a stream thing where we all got together and we're, it's, it's, I know it sounds really bad. It kind of sounds awful. But we were basically like shopping for a child to, to sponsor. <laughs> we went on the website and we're like, what's a really cool thing that we can do? And then I was like, you know what? Let me type in my birthday and see what child has the same birthday as me. Yeah, there you go. And we did it and Deepak was the first one. That's a good idea. So I was like, there we go. That's good. It's kids from India. That's I'm going to hook up and I've been uh, sponsoring ever since. There's more money. Oh my goodness. Wall Street again. There's... There's more money. Oh, my goodness. Oh, he sent you a link that says, no, nah, this is the one. Ah, uh, okay. I will find that. Oh, it's on my uh, my Instagram. Yeah. So, so if you go type in exclamation Instagram in my chat, the bot will post a link. And then you go down to second row grades, grade seven. So uh, the seventh one down, second row. I guess. I'll find it. I'll find it and show everybody. Or that's him in grade seven, uh, maybe is what he means. Uh, uh, I don't okay. Know. I'm yeah. not sure. I forget. I think Wall, uh, Wall Street is just trying to find ways to donate. So he's just like. He's just coming up with him he's as he goes. He's just coming up with him as he goes. He's having a casual conversation in every sentence that he has. It's he $100. Adds, he just adds $100. It's, it's, it's expensive. <laughs> it's very expensive. It's like visiting an expensive shrink. Just every time you open your mouth, your $100 gone. Yeah, it's very, very expensive. <laughs> it's just. <laughs> Oh, oh, he's talking about my seventh grade picture. Oh, oh you're a troll, bro. Oh, get wrecked. You're a troll, dude. Get wrecked. So I, I actually posted. I saw that. I posted a bit. Uh, uh, yes, yes. They so saying I'm Deepak because yeah. I look like um, I'm Indonesian or something, right? You I look, you look like looked, young Tiger Woods. I look Tiger. That's what everybody keeps yeah, saying. You you look young like Tiger Woods, half cheek, Asian. The, the cheeks, the cheeks thing. Yeah. And uh, my mom. I, it was Christmas time. My mom. Yeah. She, she sees the picture and she goes. You look, you look Chinese here, but I've never laid with an Asian man. So I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, okay, mom. Thanks for the confirmation, Thanks. mom. Thank you. Thanks, mom. I appreciate. I need, that's info I needed to hear. Here's looking out. I see. Wall Street's just trolling me right now. I, I'm late. I'm late to the, to the joke. Late to the joke. Rip. It's okay. Double rip. Uh, if we donate through the PayPal link through Gimme Shelter, the link is, uh, lower is down. Okay, so if you donate through the PayPal link, you don't get a tax receipt. But if you scroll to the very bottom of the stream, you'll see a banner. If you click on that, that'll take you to Gimme Shelter landing page. And if you donate through that, you'll get a tax receipt. Or you can type in exclamation world vision. The bot also posts a link every 10 minutes in the chat. Yep. So you'll be able to click on that as it goes through. But there's multiple ways you can get to that page. Uh, I'm interested in what's happening on the other side of this map right now because we haven't seen anyone do anything pretty much this entire match so far And they've just been letting you amass. Hey, these carriers. I'm okay with that. They're getting their money's worth The carriers are here. They're going to be used. They were going to be we're gonna used. we're gonna find out how effective they are based on what the other side of the map has This is like some TVP or TVB. I should say no rush 20. Yes Max the map out get your interceptors in before they fill the bottom half of the map with cannons and then you got a bunch of useless carriers sitting around. Well, I'm going to uh, just keep building up my carriers. Because why not? I can build observers, so you know what? Let me actually do that. Let me get... I don't even have a... Uh, whatchamacallit there? Observatory? Observatory. Yeah. Mm. Am I really level 3 shields already? It does not let me get level 3 shields anymore. They take that away. Uh... What? Oh, you do that in the forge. I'm losing my mind. Do do? I yeah, don't play StarCraft I was, I was, anymore. I was gonna, I was gonna say it was like you're on the wrong. I don't play StarCraft anymore. Yeah. You know? Even though I do, I'm just, I'm so out of the loop, dude. I'm, I'm an old 30 year old man. I'm turning 31. You're so old. I'm turning 31 next month. You're so old. I actually don't know what it's like to be a real adult. I've been playing video games since I was 22. Do you want to know the secret? Nobody knows how to be a real adult. Okay. Everyone's making it up as they go along. I feel like I've skipped. Every, every part of the hardships of being an adult. Yeah. Like, you know. Uh, I wouldn't say that. No, I haven't. I'd just say it's in, in slightly different. It's just in a different way. A different way. Yeah. But yeah, uh, yeah, nobody knows. I just feel old now. 
I'm just out of it. Like I'm, I you know, I look at the the kids. I'm calling people millennials. Look, you you, um, you are I'm, a millennial. I know I am. But I'm like calling, <laughs> but I'm calling everybody. I'm like calling these teenagers filthy millennials, and I'm like. <laughs> You know, I'm a millennial. So what am I even talking? I just feel old. Dude. Yeah. That's it. I just feel old. Hey, you've got an Instagram account. I don't, I mean, I have one, but I don't use it. No. I'm still that old guy that uses Facebook. You're not missing out on much. You're not missing out on much. No. I never use Facebook. Facebook I, I is old. Only, I only use Facebook for the fact that we have, like, the Lag TV account and, like, the, the Technical Alpha and, and for the people that haven't moved off Facebook for announcements. It's the only reason I have it. Mm. I, I have it for pretty much no other reason. All right, so there's that. We're we're almost getting maxed out, boys. Once I'm maxed, I'm going in. I love that my partner hasn't said anything to me. Nope. Like he doesn't care about what's going on. It's probably a blessing, really. Yeah. Probably is. Uh, let me uh, build another base. Oh yeah, it's a, it's it's a hot it's a hot mess. I saw there was a great a great video. Uh, you know, my aunt is in, is a. Uh, one of my aunts is in HR, uh, head of HR, and so, you know, HR memes, there's a video of uh, the millennial interview, and it was funny. Sad. But at the same time, it was a little too accurate. Mm. So, like, the for the reasons that it was funny were also the reasons why it made your, your soul kind of crawl up into your... Mm -hmm. A little further into your body, mm -hmm. because you realize that that these interviews probably happen, <laughs> like frequently. It's a great video, though. If anyone looks it up, you'll probably find it. It's like the millennial interview or something, and it uh, it will it will hurt your soul. Uh, there's even a good a, a good shout out to Safe Spaces uh, in there wow. as well. Um, as well as, uh, you know, starting starting work at 8.30 in the morning. What's that? What is that? Or 8 o'clock in the morning. Dude, I have not started work at 8 o'clock in the morning in... Oh, I don't even know. Oh, it was, it was... I don't even know. It hurt to listen to. But it was also funny. But it also hurt. Yep. We're sitting here complaining about uh, the world's most dumb things to complain about. And then we've got kids out there in the world that need help. Yep. And we're helping them. And we're helping them. They we're got, helping them. They got no clean water. They have real limited problems. Limited access to clean water. We, we, they have real problems. Do you yes. want to talk about safe spaces? Spend about, <laughs> send, spend about six months in Sierra Leone and no. see how you do. No. Well, I'll die. I just I couldn't do it. You'll be safe. Nobody can come after you when you're dead. Yep, no. It, I just, you know what, dude? I'm I'm a purebred first world complainer. Yep. yep. And, uh, you know, the, I, mean, I just every, couldn't handle it. Everything is relative, but when you talk about safe spaces because somebody has a differing opinion from you and then you want to go and see what some real, the real problems are. Well, places over there, there's not many safe places. No. That's why we need to give them shelter. A safe place is where you only have a 60% chance of being shot or bombed. Yep. And it's not a good thing. So, puts it into perspective. Let's Look at these oh, carriers. Wait. Let's go. Carriers. Carrier versus carrier. Are you more upgraded, though? Oh, I'm... Oh, well, he's pretty up. Oh. He's up, but I'm going to focus him down. Look at this. All Look. right, let's find boom, out how, boom, how boom, this boom, goes. Boom. Oh, he's in a... Oh, he's... Look at this. He's going after my... Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, he's being cheeky. He's being cheeky. There we go. Look at this. There we go. Look at this. Oh. Man, throw in a mothership and we have four frames a second. That many carriers and interceptors on screen? Well, he just didn't have as many carriers as I did. No. So it's just a bad time for him. Yeah. It's just a really bad time for him. Once you have this many carriers, there's not a lot of things that can actually stop that many carriers. No, there's zero. It's yeah. it's just mass tempests and you they're even They'll even get wrecked if you're good enough with carriers. Maxed out, high Templar, and then storm everything. Feedback and storm? Yep. There we go. I am carrying, actually, so yep. this kind of worked out. Oh, this is all This all worked out. Two games, we're two games oh, for two. Two for two. Two for two. Flawless. This Sky way. Toss is, is showing their ultimate strength in the last two games. Love it. 
first the Void Rays, now the Carriers. Love it. Bless Blizzard for allowing Carriers to move while attacking again. Oh, he just rage quit. I don't blame him. We just need the other guy to rage quit now. I don't blame him. We got 17 Carriers or something? A lot. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17. Yep. Three more building. Oh my goodness. You're approaching the point where you just start needing to kill off your own workers. Just so you can add more carriers. Um, move these guys down here. Your allies are in the battle. Uh, what is red go? Ooh, BCs. I don't even care. Actually, you know what? Let me go ahead and kill these because he might just rage quit after these are dead. Yeah, it's entirely possible. Now, BCs are very strong units. They but are, when but there are 17 carriers, you're just not going to be able to pull it off. They might just rage quit now. In low numbers, BCs absolutely mangle carriers, but not when you got 20 of them. There we go. Oh, he killed one. Yeah, he got one. He got one. I don't even think Yamada can. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, freebie. Giving them away now. This guy does not want to leave. Oh, he'll get there. He'll get there. Alright. Got him. A lot of turrets. Not, not I can't handle. In fact, there's not a lot of anything that you can't handle at this point. You you pretty much have the uh, most damaging the most damaging combination of units in the game, and by combination I mean just one unit. Yeah, and I've got a few BCs to back me up too. It's just a bad time. You must still have like a big army somewhere. I mean, I guess. Oh, there it is. Oh, for the kids, two games in a row, back-to-back back to back back victories. Back-to-back back for them Making kids. Making the magic happen. All right, let me, uh, let me see if I can find... Let me see here. Let me see if I can find... Get find that picture of Deepak. Yeah. See if I can get this Deepak thing going here and show you guys... For the kids. Here we go. So, I'm trying to find Deepak. Uh... I'm gonna be honest, I actually just don't know which one is him. Uh, I think that's him right there. Pretty sure. 99.9. .9. Yeah, that's it. definitely him. All right, so here's Deepak. Show you guys what's up. Right here. Yeah, look at him. That's Deepak. He's a handsome son of a bitch. He is damn handsome, that's for sure. He's actually getting... It's crazy. Like, when I started sponsoring him, he was a little tiny kid. Well, he's gotten and to now, the age now where he's going to go 0 to 100 in terms of, like, how he looks. Because he's just... he's The puberty is strong. Very strong. It's strong. So, yeah. That, that is Deepak. And I have more photos of him on, uh, on my Instagram, too, if you guys want to go check that out. But, anyhow. Mm. Big shout-outs to Taran858 yes. for the $500 dono for them I think kids. he got his money worth on that. He got 20 carriers. Yep. And a victory. Yep. So, there it is. In the same game. We're going to get ready to move on to game number three. We'll be right back right after this. Sit tight.